NASA has announced a new program called the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, whose main goal is to coordinate NASA's efforts for detecting near-Earth objects, or NEOs. So basically, if a large object comes hurtling towards Earth, it'll be this office's job to identify it, determine the way to deflect it, and to give the public a heads up. Now, Jose, here we have this office mm -hmm. whose primary job is to search space for asteroids that might end all of humanity as we know it. Are they deploying a real version of the Asteroids arcade game? No. Where we are able to shoot down these asteroids? No. Not well, Bruce not, Willis? No, Bruce Steven Willis. Tyler? Steven Tyler might be in might the background in for the soundtrack, though. So what are we trying to do? Are we trying to deflect them, disintegrate them? How are we going to be protected from any uh, asteroid or near-orbit uh, objects? So right now, NASA has a bunch of telescopes or a telescope network throughout the country mm -hmm. that is focused up, and they're looking for these NEOs that are coming into Earth's atmosphere. And what happens is the vast majority of these burn up before they even become an issue. But there are some that are substantial in size and mass and could really cause a lot of damage to life here. as we know yeah. it here, if they were to collide. So there are a couple different ways that NASA's thinking about deflecting these. None of them involve blowing them up because that really doesn't solve the problem. But what it does involve is, for instance, launching a rocket into space that doesn't have any missiles or anything like yeah. that, but can nudge the asteroid off course just enough to where it'll either miss Earth entirely or dissipate before it actually gets into our atmosphere. Oh, because as long as we deflect the asteroids for one degree, and we're talking about one degree or less of one degree, is enough in this long distance to be able to miss the, the Earth if there was an impact trajectory. But also, uh, it's cool that they, they really can't explode them. We joke about exploding the asteroid, but you, re you really can because if they, they fraction, then you have maybe one half that is going in direct uh, trajectory to the Earth instead of deflecting the whole thing into a different direction. I think this is very exciting. I think it's, uh, it's something that every civilization throughout thousands of years has been have been looking at the sky trying to predict if we're going to get hit by one of these things and now NASA has the high tech and all the ability to prevent it I hope that we never see what the dinosaurs suffer uh, 65 years ago 65, 65 million, million years, years ago. ago it feels yeah. like yesterday <laughs> it feels like yesterday yes. <laughs> well between 1994 and 2003 NASA detected about 556 of these asteroids uh, in Earth's atmosphere that were coming uh, towards wow. us. Now, however, most of them dissipated before they actually hit. Mm -hmm. So even though the, we are looking for these, a lot of these don't really pose a threat at all. Oh, that's a good thing. That's good news. So here's hoping that NASA's new office can develop and detect all of these asteroids that may be on a collision course for Earth. And here's hoping that we keep funding NASA.